but which of the following statements can be deduced from the data in the table? Okay, so let's now have a read on what the table is actually telling us. So we have GNI per capita at 2011 PPFs. PPP, sorry, and then we have HDI. Okay, so we have GNI, we have HDI of Vietnam and India. Okay, what is the GNI and HDI of Vietnam and India tell us? Okay, so let's have a shot answering this. So we have, so just looking at it, so India has a higher GN, ha, has a higher GNI, Vietnam has a higher HDI. So average incomes are higher in India than Vietnam. India is a higher GNI, so I would say that follows. So that is probably the answer. But let's have a read of the other ones and why it's not the other ones. Um, the levels of absolute poverty are higher in Vietnam. Vietnam has a higher HDI value. So levels of absolute poverty are higher in, in, um, in Vietnam. But HDI, um, it does not tell us actually about poverty itself. So I'm going to say that's no because um, HDI is a, is a range of indicators. So we can't we can't deduce that from the data we've given. Life expectancy is higher in India than Vietnam. Again, we cannot deduce that from the um, information we've given because, like I said, HDI. Although it does take into account life expectancy, we don't have specific stats on life expectancy. And then lastly, provision of healthcare and education is less effective in Vietnam than India. I must say that's actually untrue because if you look at the HDI value, the HDI value of Vietnam is higher than it is in India, meaning that. The provision of healthcare and education, although, like I said, we don't have the specific stats, but it probably is likely to be higher in Vietnam on average than in India. But I'm going to say that's wrong. So, yeah, the answer would be A.